So someone recently asked me on my channel, how long does it take to get good at programming? And I thought, what a peculiar question, you know? I thought it'd be a straight up answer, but no, it is quite a complex answer because I guess, what do we define as good? So I did some thinking, what actually makes a good software engineer? And I came up with three different things but I'm sure there are many other definitions of what a good programmer is or what being good at programming looks like. And the three that I came up were, one was you're a good programmer if you're able to come up with useful solutions with your code. Another thing I came up with is that you're able to get a good job. And the third one was that you're able to start a tech company and well, all of them, I guess, could suggest that you are a good programmer, but it was interesting because I think everyone is going to have their own opinion as to what actually is the definition of being good at programming. But we need to definitely hone in our scope. And I guess for this video, let's just say that being a good programmer or being good at programming means that you're able to get a well-paid job as a software engineer and the pay is basically above average, meaning you have good pay. Okay, great. Now, now we know what we have defined as being a good programmer. And I guess we need to address the original question. How long does it take for you to go from knowing nothing to being a good programmer? Again, this is also pretty, you know, variable. Get it? Variable, like variable in computer, no? Okay, yep. So I think some of the factors to consider when you're, I guess, trying to estimate how long it'll take you to go from knowing nothing to being a good programmer is things like whether or not you're gonna have a structure to your learning process to become a good software engineer, and also how much time you can consistently commit every day, every week, and so on. So let's assume that you are either in university or school or have a job, so you can't commit to learning how to code for the full time you have in a day. So maybe on average in a week, you can probably get like about five hours worth of practice in. Um, I think that sounds reasonable, yes? Wouldn't you not agree? And honestly, I suspect if you put this sort of amount of commitment in every week consistently, so about five hours, I reckon within the span of like a year or two, you should be able to get a good, well-paid, above average job as a software engineer. I do wanna stress my uh, assumptions here are not founded on any particular data or metrics. It's just a sort of estimate I would think is reasonable. So yeah, just take this as just an estimate. It's not like a, you know, cold hard fact. But one thing that I can tell you is true is that if you're consistent at learning how to code and being a better software engineer, then your time to get becoming a good software engineer will, will be much shorter because when you're learning how to code, having consistency in learning is much better than sort of smashing out you know, some project in one week and then sort of not coding at all for like the next few months because consistency will mean you're able to build on your knowledge much more quickly as you're, as you're learning, you know. The reason why I can't really tell you how long it will take you to learn to code from zero to being a good programmer uh, because, well, my experience of learning to code was very haphazard. And actually, I started to learn to code when I was in secondary school, but I didn't really follow a particular training program or anything like that. I just sort of started off by making random websites and, you know, just making some static landing pages and stuff like that. Well, I just did bits and bobs here and there and did some Python now and again. I also did GCSE computer science and AS level computer science. So I, I, I did a bit of coding in there. And then I did just some random projects just for fun because I was interested in coding at uh, university on the side and even like before university. And honestly, like the way I think I learned coding was very, very just sort of like all over the place. There's no structure to it. It was just like, it was a hobby, I suppose. Like, I guess the reason why I started and learned how to code was purely because I was just interested in it. I wasn't even thinking about like a career as a software engineer when I first started to learn to code. And I honestly think probably the 
first time I ever wrote a line of code was probably, I want to say when I was about 13 or something like that. But yeah, again, it, like my journey from knowing nothing to becoming a software engineer was very different because I, I guess I learned a lot of the fundamentals when it comes to programming when I was a child. So it sort of was like, there was no learning curve as such. It's kind of, I guess the best way to explain it is like, it's super easy to learn a language, like a spoken language, like, I don't know, Spanish, French, Gujarati, whatever, when you're a kid, compared to when you're trying to pick up a new language when you're older. So I think I sort of was like in the middle of that phase. So I picked up how to code at a younger age because I guess my brain had shaped in a way that I understand how to write code such that computers can understand it and so on much earlier. And I think that is a big thing because actually being able to articulate some function or some algorithm in code from what you would do in real life is a skill in itself. So I think what helped me is that I got started early on. So if you are a younger viewer to my channel, I would definitely say the earlier you start, the better, to be honest. But yeah, getting back to basically answering the question of this video, which is how long does it take you to go from knowing nothing to becoming a good programmer? Well, I guess the bottom line is it all depends on you uh, and your ability to learn how to code and how much time you have to dedicate to it and also how old you are because age can make a difference. I mean, if you are younger, you are likely to be able to pick it up much more quickly than you are when you're older. So uh, just bear that in mind. But I would definitely say you know, don't rule yourself out if you are older. So always, always uh, give it a shot. You never know. You might surprise yourself at how quick you are at learning it. So yeah, ultimately, I would say if you're able to dedicate about five hours per week to work on your own projects and also work on understanding data structures and algorithms, I would say that you're going to become a good programmer at least within a year or two's time. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot. And if you did enjoy, hit subscribe, like the video, comment down below if what languages you are currently learning, if you are learning how to code, and also it'd mean a lot if you're able to support my channel. So click the first link in the description. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in another video. Bye.